New school year means a fresh start for students, teachers, and staff. And while kids at North Spokane's Glover Middle School have been getting back into the swing of things, they've been joined in the cafeteria by a beloved staff member. KXY 4's Taylor Graham working for you tonight. She joins us now with more on a man who's not only serving up lunch, Taylor, but shaping hearts, too. That's right. He was born and raised here in Spokane, and now he's giving back to his old middle school. All it takes is just a few minutes around Malik Cheek to see why he's so valued at Glover and vice versa. Lunchtime. It's 30 minutes of bliss for any middle schooler and Malik Cheek. This is a big moment for him. In between all these conversations throughout the cafeteria is a smile that speaks for itself. Here comes Malik and he's got the biggest smile ever and he never ever grumbles about doing anything and he's always willing to do it. What better employee can you get than that? After two years in an unpaid internship at Glover, it was almost time for Malik to move on. But Cherry Weber couldn't imagine her cafeteria without him. He was so charming and so good at what he did. We didn't want to let him go. He didn't want to let go either. He was finally in a place where his disability wasn't seen as a disadvantage. Malik has Down syndrome and he's nonverbal. But even if he can't talk with others, his mom Chris says his smile and his work ethic speak volumes. He's just an all around great kid. He wants to learn, he loves to learn, and his disability doesn't hold him back. This summer, Malik was promoted to a paid job as a cafeteria attendant. Now, he helps prepare breakfast and lunch before serving 600 students a day, doing his best to connect with each one. Not only serving them lunch, but showing them that we're not really all that different. Children out there with disabilities, they want to do the same things that mom and dad and their brothers and sisters do, you know, and they need to be given that opportunity. It's In Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXLY 4 News. Oh, love that story.